What is going on sports card fans? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today we're here with a video on how U.S. men's national team players prices are affected simply by being on the U.S. men's national team and kind of what I've seen so far in my time in the soccer market more in particular obviously with the U.S. men's national team. So mostly be scrolling through eBay and uh, kind of just looking at prices and how they age uh, depending on the player situation. Um, Sadly, like, can't use card ladder. Usually would, but they are not as big on soccer now. Maybe eventually, but one day, one day. Can only hope. So let's go ahead and get on into it. Um, I was well, kind of looking up some cards here. We started with Weston. But the most important right now is Eunice Musa Mega Cracks. Um, these are essentially his first rookie card. Okay, this says read. I was wondering, $20. I was like, <laughs> my snap. But uh, uh, <laughs> basically, we'll go and see kind of what they have been selling for. This is a massive example of how these cards age on the U.S. men's national team because we can see right there, I mean... It's like $40 a piece is about the going rate. It's what it has been for a little bit. Um, and that's what it is now because Eunice Musa is on the U.S. men's national team and has committed to play for us for the future. So his prices have shot up. That's kind of the important factor here. If we go back and look, March 11th, well, that was $10 plus $10 shipping. But back then, um, I did get one of these lots from this guy. Uh, 10 for like $100, $120, something like that. So... That, I mean, that's the potential right there. Just, oh man, and this, I, oh man, I looked at that lot. I looked at it, but I was like, man, if this dude doesn't join the U.S. men's national team, I feel like such an idiot. So, um, but that's the point. This dude's price is 4X, at least, simply by just being in the U.S. men's national team and saying he'll be a part of it in the future. Right now, he's an 18-year-old right mid for, like, a mid-tier La Liga team. So, uh, it's just, it's crazy what it can do. And this isn't even during a time where the World Cup is hype or, you know, there's anything going on soccer-related. This is just simply saying, I'll play for the U.S. MNT. And honestly, before this, I mean, I wouldn't have put my money that he did because I wouldn't have felt... I don't know. It's probably 50-50 in my head. I never really gave it too much of a thought. I was like, well, he's playing for us now. I mean, you know, who knows? You, I mean, England is pretty uh, competitive, so maybe he'll play over here, and it looked like he was having fun. So he most definitely decided to come and, you know, paid off if you were in early. Um, another one right here is the Matthew Hoppe Tops and Now. Um, I mean... These actually still go for a decent bit, so I guess at the end of the day, I mean, this proves that, like, and there will be other examples like this as well, that even if your player doesn't have the season or, you know, their potential met in a short-term sense, I don't even know if it matters. Um, well, I guess right here you can see uh, if you threw them on bid, they might go for pretty cheap. But overall, I mean, the last price is probably 7.5 bucks, something like that. But essentially... I mean, they they went up a little bit whenever he came out. Um, these came out whenever he had just um, scored, I think, like three goals in a week or something. And so he had a lot of hype then. And since then, he hasn't done almost anything. And his prices have basically stayed the same. I mean, upon, like, ordering them, um, you know, you could have, yeah, here when they were kind of hype, you could have gotten a little bit more. But other than that, I mean, they basically, you can still profit if you bought them. And this dude has not done anything. Schalke look like they're getting relegated. I mean, it's kind of been the case for a while, but... I, I don't know. Even if you, you start just not scoring and doing nothing and your team's going down and Matthew Hopp is still held pretty strong. So just a, an example of, you know, kind of the lure that they have. Um, here I'll look up a Dest Auto, Serginho Dest. Um, oop. I don't know what else I'm getting here, so I'm going to go with Serginho Dest Auto. There we go. Um, taking a look here. Um, we want to just kind of give a peek around. This one was kind of one that caught my eye. So, um, yesterday this sold after he had gotten his brace for Barca. Um, and I mean, uh, it, I did try to throw it in an offer here just to see, but it ended up getting snapped up. Um, but there was at least whenever I bought my first Dest Auto, it was an out of 50 vertical one. Um, and the vertical ones are, you know, a little, little heavier than the, uh, horizontal ones price wise and mm, like i don't know this is a little bit more than i paid for the vertical one and there's a really good little ding on here that has been noted kindly in the uh the ebay listing so i mean overall 
it seems like his prices then have probably 2x, maybe a little more, simply just by being American. I mean, sure, he's on Barca and he got a, a brace as a right back, but, you know, normally that's not going to do you too much. But for Serginho Des, somehow it does. I, I don't know how. It's kind of just like magic. <laughs> but, I mean... It's just another example, and since then you can tell that there have been other autos to sell. I mean, before this, look, there was like two in a day. Um, there's three in a day right there. It was basically one was buying every other day. There was actually a pretty big gap there of like four or five days. And then suddenly, you know, he scores for Barca, and like <laughs> seven or eight of these autos go off the board. And uh, that's so what I've been talking about for a while now with the U.S. Men's National Team guys is that there's a lot of opportunity with the low numbered autos. I've been saying it, and it's just, it's very true because the the supply is high, but over time, I mean, it's just going to dry up as we keep getting closer to the World Cup. I can't imagine you're going to be finding, you know, <laughs> eight of these available every day on eBay during a World Cup. So, I mean, if, keep, if stuff keeps going down this uh, kind of path, it is just crazy. And, uh... Another one that kind of proves that um, even, you know, even if you're not up to nothing too much, you still just get tons of value and uh, potential there. And this is with uh, Tops Now, Chris Richards. He has this 2019, uh, this one's really his rookie, Tops Now, um, up to about 40 bucks. I remember seeing this, I don't know, it was like maybe 15 to 20 uh, before he moved to Hoffenheim a little bit. Um, but... I mean, he's just a center back in the Bundesliga. And, I mean, sure, his tops now originally um, wasn't, I mean, jeez. You know, I guess I can't say I've been looking at all of these uh, tops now and keeping an eye, but this one actually selling for like seven, eight bucks. I would have I would have definitely scooped. But um, just saying like a center back for the U.S. men's national team, that he's never even started. I mean, he played once for us as a center back, and his card prices are holding steady, even for non-rookie card tops nows at 15 bucks. Um, which, this is why I really think John Brooks is the big play, because his are insanely low compared to anything that we have for our younger guys. But even then, you can be a center back on a good, I guess, uh, decent Bundesliga squad, and then, you know, you still just kind of sit here with uh, good prices. <laughs> it's just, it's crazy. It is honestly insane. And then I guess the highest upside possible, um, if we wanted to go, you know, you absolutely hit a home run, how does it go? Um, we can look at, I guess, Weston McKinney autos, just to get some perspective. Um, and yeah, I mean, here, you know, this out of 10 is 2,200. I don't, I mean, it looked pretty good to me. I guess I could maybe see paying that if you thought it was a 10, because, I mean, the centering was really nice. But I, I still, like, you know, two, two grand for really low-numbered ones, um, decently numbered ones, or still, I mean, two, three hundred ones for, like, higher-numbered stuff. So, I mean, you know, it's just, it is absurd. And uh, I always reference this for, <laughs> well, we talked about it recently, but um, I bought a Weston McKinney out of 25 auto, not this exact one, but this same type of card for like $25 a year ago, <laughs> about a, a little over a year ago at this point. And uh, yeah, I don't have it anymore, <laughs> sadly. So I'm not bragging. I am very sad. <laughs> but I mean, it just goes to show like, you know, if someone does pop off, the Weston McKinney's went like that card in a year went from $25 to you know, raw, it's still probably like a grand, grand and a half, something like that. But, I mean, that's what happens when you pop off for Juve. Now imagine if it was a World Cup for us. Like, I, you know, it's just, that's the upside. And here's one of the guys uh, lucky enough to be on card ladder, and that is Gio Reyna. Um, this is an example of where, you know, someone hasn't done too much. He was kind of popping off early in the season for Dortmund. Um, I think he just faded out because he was going through like a pretty you know, long, tough year. Lots of games uh, at a high level at such a young age. So I kind of get it. He drifted out and, you know, now has kind of bounced back up a little bit. But the soccer card market as a whole has really taken a step up with these young prospects. And Reyna hasn't taken a step at all but granted he hasn't been doing as much for his club but that's kind of how this plays out you know you don't want to be buying the ones that are absolutely killing it for their club because if you're just doing that you're just chasing you're just constantly chasing and so with Reina I think that this is a buy uh, personally I've been kind of looking at Reina's for a good bit I stayed out of the the water for a while because I thought they were really hyped but now that he's kind of had a good lull and the rest of the market's really kicked up 
Um, I think the potential is there. Um, again, maybe other spots, maybe not a Topps Chrome. I, do, I just don't like base stuff as much because I think it has higher downside. Um, but at the same time, I mean, if the stuff is go potentially going up, it basically has the same upside. So, so that's how I see U.S. Men's National Team soccer cards. On the upside, you have a ton of room to grow and tons of potential if your player does end up, you know, actually becoming somewhat of a household name. Not even really a household name, but just becoming a social media name, a social media star, something like that. Um, while with the downside, I mean, you could, you know, be having a middling year at a position where no one really focuses on you. And just purely because there's such low pop and such high demand for a player on our team, I think that you know, you're always going to be able to sell if you would like. Um, but personally, you know, buy most of my stuff for collecting. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Anything you want to tell me, let me know in a comment down below. On top of that, if you want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live, make sure to subscribe. And with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, peace.